I'd like to talk with Jeremy and <laughs> Dennis again and ha have lunch <laughs> somewhere. But you can go back to anything in your history because the, the, it is an eternal now. Okay. The whole thing of life. Love is the only thing that we can give away and end up getting more back. If we have a thousand dollars and we give away a hundred, we'll only have nine hundred left. But love, you give away love and people respond to it because everybody needs to be loved. And love is the creative force of the universe. No two ways about it. Whatever God force or uh, creation force is in you, in me, in him, in her, that is universal. And once we grasp that, we begin to see each other as family. We're all part of the same family. And once we begin to see ourselves as family, we, and we have to grasp the idea that God is love. Whatever vision you have or view you have of what God is, God is the creative force of the universe. And anything less will either be stagnant or destructive. We can teach each other how to love better, and a genuine love that is unconditional, non-judgmental, non-possessive, but it's universal. We love everyone because they are here, and each one unique, and each one a gift to each one of us, because we're not a bunch of robots, we're a bunch of thinkers. And anyone who is uh, you know, has the tendency for greed and selfishness. Well, we empathize with them, but we do not condone what they do. We just feel, well, I'm sorry, there is a better way you have to discover it. And only you can discover it and put it in your heart. But we're, we love you all the same. Love is the only thing that we can give away and end up getting more back. More back. More back. I truly believe that we are winning and thank you very much all of you, thanks to all of you. I want to express my sincere joy about what I see coming into this world today. I see a new generation of great young thinkers and they are speaking out. They know a better world is possible. Our government, in order to pay for a debt that should never have existed in the first place, had to tax the people. And income tax was levied to all of Canadians. And during that period of time, 81 to 95, our government collected $619.2 billion in income tax. During that same period of time, 1981, 1995, we paid to the private banks $428.2 billion interest to those private lenders who really had no right to be lending us money that only we had the right to create. I thank you for listening. This is Will Abram from beautiful Maple Bay on Vancouver Island, British Columbia. I wish I were there with you, but uh, unfortunately I cannot be, so this is the next best thing. Thank you for hearing me out. <laughs>